Greetings, YouTube. On the way home from work this morning, I was listening to NPR and they were doing a piece about drones. Now, let me say up front that I find drones fascinating. The technology that goes into them is endlessly interesting to me. Um, whether it's drones that have wingspans the size of football fields or drones that they're currently working on, which are the, literally the size of insects. I find it all really cool. Their use in the real world, however, is a little more problematic. Now, the military has a legitimate use for them as far as both surveillance and um, enemy action. They have some really useful purposes. For example, they can do things that are very dull. They can search areas that are just boring as all get out for a human being to do, and we screw up when we're bored. So it's good that you have a device that can search really boring stretches of land for 24 hours at a stretch. They can go into dangerous places. Um, things like flying over nuclear power plants that are leaking or, you know, oil rig fires and things like that. Things that you don't want to put a plane with a pilot in it. And also we can send things in because if you lose a drone, you lose some money. You don't lose a human being, nor do you have to worry about a pilot being captured by the enemy. So drones have their place. And I don't have a problem with the U.S. military using them. I do have a problem with the CIA using them, particularly when the CIA uses drones that are armed. The CIA should have no weapons in the field other than sidearms on their agents. That's it. If there's anything more advanced than self-defense involved, CIA should be calling in people who handle those kind of things, like the military, for example. The CIA should not have the ability to fire missiles at people. That right there is twisted. I don't have a problem with the CIA uses drones to gather intelligence. That's what they do. I may disagree with many of their policies, but they are supposed to be gathering intelligence. That's kind of their gig. But the thing about the report that really bothered me was that the reporter, you know, now the, the person doing this was just reading the, the, the script put in front of them. This is not their particular opinion. It was written by someone else. But it was the casual way it was discussed that really got to me. They were discussing the fact that our drones have been used repeatedly to take out terrorist suspects. And that's the word that made my stomach drop. Suspect. If you suspect that someone is guilty of a crime, we have policies for that. You, if you have evidence, enough to warrant an arrest, you arrest them, you charge them, you try them in a timely manner, giving them legal counsel. If they're found guilty, you then incarcerate them. If you don't have enough information, enough intelligence to justify an arrest warrant, you walk away. Just because you suspect that someone has done something doesn't mean you get to take an action, let alone kill them with a missile fired from a drone. So yeah, I have a real problem with that. And also, the and I have no idea if these numbers have been confirmed, but the report said that we, that the United States has taken out somewhere between 1,400 and 2,300 targets, human beings, in Afghanistan since we've started using drones there right, over the last seven years. That's disturbing. But also disturbing that the 900-person gap between those two numbers. That, that means that somebody should really be doing better accounting. If you don't know how many targets are down there, you don't pull the trigger. Because it seems to me that if you don't know how many targets are down there, you don't know how many friendly targets are down there. And that's a real issue. So, I'm just not happy this morning with the U.S. military and the CIA's apparent wanton desire to blow people up just because they suspect they may be bad guys.